What up? It's your boy UC704 coming at y'all with another video. And uh, we're going to get straight into it. We're going to talk about momentum swings and timeouts. A lot of you guys beat yourself and don't even know it. Now, I know you've seen you blew a lead. You might have a 20, 15 point lead going into the third quarter and it get completely blown, you know, because you don't call timeouts. You go in the third quarter, damn, there's seven timeouts. Um, so my, um, you start missing wide open shots. I know you've seen it. Miss wide open threes. Miss start missing layups. You start losing the ball. Your guys start jumping off his foot. Other guys start just getting crazy shots. Start making shots he wasn't making the whole game. Things like this is going to happen in the third quarter. So that's I try to score twenty points a quarter. That's just me. Don't don't you try to do that. I just try to score score twenty a quarter. So I'm gonna end up with about eighty to ninety points a game. So, you know, I try to outscore people, but I play good at both ends of the court. But my thing is, you want to burn the timeouts. You want to know when to use those timeouts. And the atmosphere play a big part in it. People say 2K atmosphere is horrible and it's bad. No, 2K atmosphere actually plays a factor in the gameplay. If you, listen to me, if, if you're home and your crowd start booing, the momentum is switching. The momentum is switching. You're going to start missing open shots. You're going to start breaking stuff that you was making. Um... You're gonna just it's gonna you're gonna be discombobulated. Your players gonna act confused. It's just gonna get weird. If you're home if you're home, I mean if you're away and the crowd start going ape shit off one shot the other guy makes. And they haven't been going ape shit the whole game. They start going ape shit off a dunk. The guy get a dunk, burn a timeout instantly. That means the momentum is going to switch. That's all that means. When you start hearing that crowd roar really loud or or you start hearing, you know, the crowd boo, that means in your home, that means the momentum is going to switch. You're going to start playing sorry, man. Burn the time out. Don't be like Phil Jackson. Don't be like me. I'm a stubborn gamer. I will not call it. I will not let the, number, the other guy know that I'm, I'm discombobulated on the other side. I won't let him know that, but I do. And I, not to understand, I blow big leads and the game end up being close. And it should never got close because I should have just burned the time out. Especially if you're playing the Knicks, the Warriors, the Heat, teams like that. They will start going crazy in the third quarter, man. You will start missing wide open threes. You will start missing wide open layups. You will start dribbling off your foot. Crazy things, right? So what I do, you, you start out with eight timeouts, if I'm not mistaken. In the fourth quarter, if you don't use them, they're going to take your timeouts anyway. So burn them timeouts. You know, I burn one in the first quarter around two minutes. I burn it in the first quarter around two minutes. Second quarter around two minutes. In the third, I usually I almost burn three timeouts in the third quarter. And I kill the shot clock in the third quarter. Because they're going to come back. You're going to blow a lead. So try to eat the shot clock in the third Try to um, play slower in the third, man, and try to take, really take what he give you on defense. You know, if you get the fast break, take it. If you get a um, wide open layup, take it. But shy away from shooting a lot of threes because you're going to start missing a lot of threes in the third quarter. You know, that's just like real life. You see teams blow leads. I'm like that. I, I could, I'm almost have a 20-point lead, 15 to 20-point lead, and I will blow it in the third because I won't call timeouts. I'll call one. It's too late then. You need to call two. In the third, call two timeouts in the third. In the fourth, you're going to still have, what, three left? And you burn those because guys with full quarter are going to start going crazy on you. So um, those guys with full quarter, you want to be cautious of that, man, because they will start hitting a lot of and ones. That's the same way in the third quarter. Guys with the high, um, you know, shot on foul, draw foul tendency, man, they're going to draw fouls and get a lot of and ones. So just be careful of that. Be noteful of that, man. That's something to remember. Don't beat yourself. I'm like that. I'm very stubborn. I will beat myself. Most of the time, you know, I really could be like maybe 60 and fucking maybe two or three. But I, I, I beat myself a lot of times because I'm stubborn. I won't let the other guy know that I'm frustrated. And I'll be frustrated. You don't want to get frustrated. That's just, it's going to kill your game. You're going to, you're going to leave your game plan. Do not abort your game plan. Just slow your game plan down in the third. Still shoot your threes, but just limit your threes in the third. Unless you're just completely wide open. If you're wide open the lane, take the lane and go get a dunk. You want to get easy shots in the third quarter. Get dunks. Get fast breaks. Shoot free throws. Because they're going to stop calling fouls for you. You're going to start seeing the ball just, you know, they're not going to call fouls. You're going to get some of the same animations he's getting. And, and, and all of that, but they're not going to call fouls. So just be cautious of that. Be noteworthy. The crowd play a big factor. Remember, remember the crowd. They start roaring. Call that timeout. They start booing. Call that timeout, man. Your du them double teams are going to be strong enough. Then he's probably going to start full court pressing. A lot of stuff. So just be careful and call timeouts, man. Don't be stubborn. Slow your game down. Take your time in the third and the fourth quarter. Take your time. Because you can go gas pedal. You can go gas pedal uh, the first and second. It's, it's balanced first and second. But that third quarter is going to switch. I guarantee you that. That's my. That's for me to you. It's going to happen. Especially if you're playing money games, virgin gaming, any of this stuff. Be noteworthy of that stuff. Just remember this. Just remember it. Be aware. 
listen to the crowd. This uh, the, uh, um, the environment play a lot in 2K. Play big factors. So that's my time, yo. UC 704. Call manual timeouts. Don't let the computer call your timeouts. Do it yourself. Try it. If you've never done it, go go lab with it. Play like three or four games calling your own timeouts. That's it. Do your own substitutions as well. The computer will do stupid substitutions for you. Do your own subs. Um, just try it. I've been doing that since 2K7, and I've been very successful, man. So that's my time. UC704. I'm out, man. Peace.